Hi everyone, this is Sharmila and welcome back to my channel, Sharmila's Kitchen. Today I'll be making modak. Modak is a very popular Indian traditional sweet coconut dumpling that is offered to Lord Ganesha during Ganesh Chaturthi. Lord Ganesha loves modak and that's why he is also known as modak priya, means modak lover. Modak can be steamed or fried. Today I'll be showing a steamed modak recipe which is traditional one. So let me show you the ingredients list first. So first take a glimpse of the ingredients list. If you are watching this video for the first time then please subscribe to my channel and if you like this recipe please give this a big thumbs up share with your friends and family and feel free to comment below so this is a two-step recipe first we are going to be making the outer soft shell with rice flour and then we are going to be making the sweet and delicious coconut stuffing so first make the rice flour dough it's super simple and easy first in a saucepan bring one cup of water to a rolling boil and salt to taste also add one teaspoon ghee after one or two minutes, the water will come to a rolling boil stage. So switch off the heat and add the rice flour. Give it a quick mix. Now cover and set aside for 10 minutes until the temperature comes down a little bit. While the dough is resting, let's make the sweet coconut filling. Today I'll be showing you the simplest method of making it. Add one teaspoon of ghee in a frying pan. One teaspoon is enough to make the coconut filling because coconut will also release its oil. Then immediately add the chopped jaggery and allow it to melt for two to three minutes. Make sure the jaggery is very clear. There is no stones. It should not have any stones in it. So now the jaggery has melted. Add the grated coconut immediately in the hot jaggery. Saute it nicely. After adding the coconut, the mixture will be little watery. So cook on medium flame for 4 to 5 minutes until the water evaporates and become a nice and thick mixture. And also make sure you keep stirring this mixture else it can burn from the bottom. So after cooking for 6 minutes or so, the mixture looks dry and it is not sticking to the pan. So our mixture is ready. Take out in a bowl or a plate, keep aside. You are supposed not to cook this coconut mixture for a long time as the mixture will be hard. So we are looking for a soft and nice thick coconut mixture. And the flavor coming from this sweet coconut mixture is really awesome. You can eat directly from this bowl. Now keep this aside. Now let's work on rice flour dough. So our rice flour dough is warm and nice and it is ready to knead. Using your pump, knead it very nicely until it becomes smooth. After giving it a nice kneading, you can see the dough is very soft and perfect. Now divide the dough in a small lemon size balls. After that take a ball and start making the corners thin just like this. And the center should be thick because we are going to put the coconut milk mixture in the center. If the center is not thick, the stuffing will come out after steaming. So make sure the center is thick. Now put half teaspoon of coconut mixture in the center and then take the small disc. Now we are going to give the modok a beautiful shape. So using your thumb and index finger, pinch the corner of the disc to make plates. Just make 4 to 5 plates like this. See our dough is very smooth and it's not breaking. So after making the plates, bring all the plates together and join them carefully and make a mountain peak in the center just like this. So I have done this modok without any mold. Now if you found difficulties in making the modok shape then I'll show you something another shape. So repeat the same process like thinning out the ball and putting the mixture in the center. Now if you're finding difficulties in pleating the modok just gather the sides and make a pick like this. Don't need to give it pleats just a, a round shape. Then take a knife and make some incision on the modok just like this. If you do like this also, you will get the modok shape. Don't need to bother about any pleatings and all. Now I will be showing you another method of making modok with mold. While making other modok, make sure you cover the prepaid modok with wet towel or wet cloth. Making modok using a mold is very simple. You can get this kind of molds in the local store and if you can't able to find out in the local store, you can get it online. I'll give you the link in the description below. So among these molds, I'll be using this medium size mold. In the similar way, before making modak, grease the mold 
with little oil. Take a ball from the rice flour dough and put it inside the mold. Press lightly with fingers and push the dough to the walls to make a hole in the middle. See just like this. Now in the hollow place put the coconut mixture that we made already and press the coconut mixture also so that it has no gap inside. Once it is done close it with remaining flour ball. So it is done. Now slowly open the mold and take out the modok. So I have shown you the making of modok with mold and without mold. Whichever method is comfortable for you, just use it. Now we are going to steam the modoks. So I don't have any steamer. So I'll be making my own steamer to steam the modok. Take a wide mouth karai or saucepan. Put water in it. And on this put a perforated plate like this so my own steamer is ready on this i'm going to place banana leaves the modus will get nice flavor from this banana leaf and also prevents sticking to the perforated plate so if the banana leaves are not available then just grease the perforated plate and it will be ready to use now cover with a lid, bring the water to a boil and then we'll put the modux. So the water is hot and boiling. So we are placing the modux in it. Now put the lid and allow it to cook for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes it will be ready or by seeing also the modok will look shiny and non-sticky. So as you can see, so the modoks are ready to offer to the Lord Ganesha. I hope that he will like this modok and give blessings on me. So if you also want the blessings from Lord Ganesha, make it and serve to the Ganesha. So hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you like this video, please give this a big thumbs up, share with your family and friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you soon. Till then, take care and bye.